13 forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, we had the opportunity for a few more showers this afternoon that kept us a little bit cooler during those afternoon hours, but it did get very hot early on as those feel like temperatures even crossed 100 by noontime. As you notice, again, a lot of those storms are drifting towards the east at this point. A lot of those storms are quickly beginning to fade. The rest of the evening will be quiet. We've still got the chance for some cloud cover until about early morning. But otherwise, when you step out the door heading back to work on your Monday, we should start out with plenty of sunshine. Notice again, a couple storms drifting near I-55, but that should be done by midnight. So here you go. When you look at your future cast, we'll start out early with some sunshine. But once again, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms developing a little bit further south and then drifting off towards the northeast as we head into those afternoon hours. Chance for a couple heavy pockets out there. That's going to be the biggest concern where we could easily see up to a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. This is a very tropical air mass in place. And then notice again, we'll get another break overnight going in early on Tuesday. But again, those storms quickly multiply again by the time we get into Tuesday afternoon. So watch your future cast out here. And what I do want to point out, especially near the coastline, the chance for that heavy rainfall moving forward. Localized areas, obviously, I think this is a little bit high, just shy of six, but I'm looking anywhere from two to four inches of rainfall over the next three to four days. So, again, not all coming in one lump sum, but it's going to be there over the next couple of days as we're going to get that daily dose of showers and thunderstorms. Scattered storms for your Monday, starting out nice and wet, a little bit on the soggy side. Tuesday, and Wednesday, scattered storms across the area, and then we drop back into more typical pattern by the time we close up the week and head into the weekend. 84 officially on your live tower cam out there at this hour. We've got a feel like temperature of 91. We've got winds out of the south southeast now at about seven miles per hour. Your current feel like temperatures range from the low to even mid 90s in some places to 87 in New Orleans and currently 92 over in Lafayette. So here you go, almanac wise, we did hit 93. Pretty seasonal outside, just a little bit on the warm side to start your day. Temperatures and feel like temperatures overnight. We're talking mid to upper 70s, but quickly jumping back to about 107, 108 tomorrow afternoon. And that'll put us just shy of our heat advisory criteria. We're also keeping an eye on the tropics. Big picture, long range. Nothing expected, obviously, out in the Atlantic for the next five days. Still a lot of Saharan dust in place, kind of suppressing all that tropical activity, but a little bit closer to home, right to the east of the Carolinas. You see there's an area of concern, but notice chance of development now sits at about 10%, and most likely this is going to become nothing in the coming days. So the repeat train continues this week, still hot, still very humid, and every day, a daily dose of scattered showers and thunderstorms. So here you go. Heading into your seven day picture, we've got a high of 91 out there with a feel like temperature tomorrow afternoon sitting around 107. Look for those afternoon showers to develop just after lunchtime. Heading into your Thursday and Friday, highs will sit in the lower 90s. Heating the sea still, or still in triple digits, still crossing that century mark as we continue to move forward. And really, not a lot of change. For the immediate future, we need a front big time around the area because this is just getting old. Oh. <laughs> the repeat train, I like that. I, mean, like I, don't, that? I don't like it, but I like choo -choo. the choo <laughs> There we go. That I just happened. <laughs> <laughs> we should let that train take us to break, Jesse. Uh, it works. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see